Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful to you this morning. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for bringing us into this wonderful month again, the month of Easter, a blessed month, month, oh God. A month that Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross of Calvary for us, oh God. We are so grateful, Father, for counting us among the living this month, oh God. Dear Lord, as we want to look into your word, I pray you minister life, minister grace to us, Father. And I pray that all of us will be under this blood in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, worship you. We thank you for answering our prayer. As we share this word, I pray you speak to us, oh Father. Speak to our heart, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for bringing us into this month again, the month of uh, uh, April, the month of our Easter. We are so grateful to God for making it possible for us to, this, to see this month. And you know this is the month of Easter. So, you know, before this, I have already given our team for this uh, Easter month. And the team is that when I see the blood, when I see the blood, because the blood is very important in everything. The blood, because the Bible says in the book of Leviticus that there is life in the blood. So God was telling the children of Israel then, but that when I see the blood, because God wants to do something. God wants to bring destruction in the land of the Egyptian. That means in the land of the sinners, they want to bring destruction. So because of that, there must be something the children of Israel must do. They must do something because one thing will go before he does something, he bring warning. Before he bring destruction upon, upon the land, he will bring warning to his people. So because of that, he brought no one. He told the children of Israel there was something they would do. So that as he is coming with his judgment, as he is coming to destroy the land of the Egypt, there must be something. And what is that? Exodus chapter 12. Let's see Exodus chapter 12. God told the children of Israel there is something they would do before the judgment. So that the judgment will not come upon the Exodus chapter 12. I read from number verse 1 to 3. He said, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Now, verse 3. Speak ye unto the, all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb. You say, a lamb. Mark this one, a lamb. According to the house of their father, a lamb for an for a for an house and then five let's get to five five your lamb shall be without blemish there's no dirty it's not a lame one it's not a crippled lamb it's not the one with one eye he said without blemish a man of the first year he shall take it out from the sheep or from the goat and then seven say and they shall take of the blood, you can mark it to say the blood, and strike it on the do, two side posts on the upper door, posts of the house, wherein they shall eat it. And then 12 say, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt. And I will excuse judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where, where ye are. And when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague, the disease, the sickness shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land. Of the Egypt, praise the Lord. So, as I as, 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 as said earlier, God is going to bring destruction in the land of Egypt, and because of that, He told the children of Israelite that to avoid that destruction, because God will not smite His own, God will not smite His elect, God will not smite His seed. He said, "There's something you will do: take a lamb, lamb without blemish, clean one." And kill it and use the blood and put on the other side of the door, the other side and the door pot. And if you see that blood, it's just like a sign of the cross. Praise the Lord. It's like the sign 
of the cross. Because he, God, is going to pass through the land with his judgment and plague and disease and sickness to destroy the land, to bring destruction in the land. Praise the Lord. He said, when I see the blood, as I'm passing through the land, as the angel of the Lord is passing through the land, not that God cannot do something, not that, that God will not know the house of the Israel and the Egyptians, no, not that he, can, he will not know, but God wants his children to participate in what he is doing. God wants his children to do something too. So that, because God knows everything, he knows our housing, but he wants us to do something, to participate in whatsoever he, he, he is doing. So he said, put the sign of the blood on your door. So that when the angel is coming, when he sees the blood, when he sees the blood, he will pass over you. The destruction will not come upon you. The sickness will not come upon you. The coronavirus will not come upon you. Name them, it will not come up, up, upon you. Why? Because of the blood. Because of the blood. The blood of the Lord. Because there is life in the blood. In another word, what God is telling his children, always be under the blood. Be under the blood. Be under the blood. Always be under the blood. As a child of God in this our day, we should be under the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, it is the blood of the Lamb. But now, there's another blood. We should be under the blood. Let's come back now. This is the Old Testament for the Israelite. And you know we are the spiritual Israelite. When you come to Hebrew chapter 10 verse 1, you say all this in... When you read Hebrew chapter 10 verse 10, you say what happened in the Old Testament? Include the, 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 the killing of the Lamb. What happened there is a shadow of good things to come in the New Testament. Because in the New Testament, good things is coming. What is taking place in the New Testament is good thing. So, the, the, the connection between the, the Lamb and what is in the New Testament. Let's look in the book of John chapter 1. You know, when God was telling the Jews, He said, take a lamb which is blemish. A lamb, a lamb. It was specific, it's a lamb. John chapter 1. Let's see the good thing in, in the New Testament. John chapter 1. What did John the Baptist was, telling, was, was saying? He said, behold, the next day, John see Jesus coming unto him and say, behold, Mark it. He said, Behold, he said, The Lamb of God. He didn't say the Son of God. Amen. He didn't say the Man of God. He said, The Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God. You remember Old Testament, the Lamb. God was looking for a Lamb. Now there's another Lamb here, better Lamb. Good things. The Bible says, Shad, uh, What happened in the New Old Testament is a shadow of good things in the New Testament. But you can see that. He said, Behold. The lamp of God, which take it away the sin of the whole world. It is the lamp of God. It is lamp of God that take it the sin of. And let's face Peter again for more, more clarification. Uh, face Peter. What did the Bible say again? Face Peter. First Peter chapter one. I read from verse eighteen to nineteen. He said, "For as much as ye know that ye we are not redeemed." with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers verse 19 but with the precious blood of christ as of a lamb you can see a lamb here but as of a lamb without blemish praise the lord this is new testament it's another lamb without blemish here yeah, without sin without sin Without blaming and without, without spot. So you see in the in old time he said, look for a lamb that is clean, that is not deformed, that is not limping. And in the New Testament he said, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb again. New Testament, this one is for us. This is the better thing, the good thing that is coming. Without blemish and without spot. I think it's clear now. So we can see what happened in the Old Testament. The Bible says it's a good, it's the, the shadow, shadow. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1 says shadow of good things that will take place in our time. So we can see the blood of animal. God used the blood of, anim, of an animal in the Old Testament to deliver his people. And in the New Testament it's another blood again. The blood of another lamb. 
better than the blood of the animal. Go use it again in our own tap. For what? The Bible says, number one, John said, who take it to take away the sin of the whole world? To take away the sin of the whole world. And what did he use to take away our sin? Luke chapter 22. Luke 22. What did he use to take away our sin? Luke 22. Luke 22, I read from verse 19. From verse 19 to 20. And he took bread. That is Jesus Christ, we know it. And he took bread and gave thanks. And break it and gave unto, unto them, unto his disciples, saying, This is my body which is given for you, for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then verse 20. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shared for you. Praise the Lord, which is shared for you. What did he use to take away our sin? What that is his blood. He used his blood to deliver us from our sin. Better than the blood of an animal. You know, the blood of an animal cannot take away sin. It cannot take away sin. It is only the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus Christ. He used his blood to take away our sin. Through his blood, our sin is forgiven. Through his blood, we receive our healing. We receive our deliverer. Better than the one in the Old Testament. So just like the blood of the Lamb in the Old Testament is for, for protection and for deliverance, like what the blood of Jesus is for our salvation also, is for our healing also, is for our deliverance also, for everything we need in life to be under the blood. As a child of God, if you want God's hand upon your life, if you want to move in the move of God every day, if you want to, if you want to be under the God's protection every day, God's deliverance, God's mercy, eh? God's salvation. You want to see the salvation of God upon your life? You must always be under the blood of Jesus Christ. Under the blood. That blood is better than the blood of an animal. If God can honor the blood of an animal, my brother, my sister. If God can honor the blood of uh, people like Abel, and, and even say that blood is speaking. If God can honor the blood of an animal and deliver his people. And deliver his Israel because of the in, in blood of a, a, a ram, blood of a goat, blood, blood of animal. God he honored that blood because it is it was shed in his name. He honored it and deliver the children of Israel. How much more is the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ? It will do more than the blood of the animal. The blood of a Jesus will do more, more than the blood of an animal. I repeat it again. The blood of Jesus will do more, more, great thing, greater, better thing than the blood of an animal. To, to deliver his people, God used the blood of animal. To deliver us today, God is using the blood of Jesus. Because that blood is greater than all blood. You know where we read in the first Peter chapter 1, he said, the pressure. There's no any other blood that, is, that precious is attached to it. Read your Bible. Read the Old Testament. You will not see precious blood. Mm -mm. I've never seen why precious is added to any other blood. Only the blood of Jesus. He said that precious blood of Jesus that you are bought with. Precious blood, blood is the only blood in the Bible that precious is, is, is attached to it. That precious is attached to it because it is better than all the blood. Is the power is more powerful than the blood of anything, blood of Jesus. That's why precious God, Bible says the precious blood of Jesus. So, my brother and sister in Christ, I urge you to always be under the blood of Jesus Christ. Don't depart from the blood of Jesus Christ. Always be under the blood, and it shall be well with you. It is for your coverage. Amen. It's just like a canopy, you know, canopy to cover people from some, from any, many things. That is the blood. Let it be it's for our coverage. It's for our protection. It's for our healing. It's for our deliverance. It's for everything we need. And above all, it's for our salvation. It's for our salvation. If you want to see, you want to be, uh, 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 you want deliverance from your, uh, in your life, be under the blood. You want deliverance from what is going on now all over the world? 
the coronavirus and many other things. It is the blood. It is the blood. Nothing more, nothing less. It is the blood. Come and sit under the blood. Be under the blood. That is where protection is. It is not by running into a lab laboratory to discover it. It is come to God. Come under the blood of Jesus. Come and sit under the blood of Jesus. And when you are under the blood, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, you are safe. You are delivered. You are preserved. You are protected if you are under the blood. And I urge you, my brothers and sisters, my children, always be under the blood. Always be under the blood of Jesus. That precious blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. And I say it again, when you are under the blood, you are preserved. And it shall be well with you by the grace of God. In Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, we are so grateful to you once more again, this time again. We bless you and worship you and for your word that has come to us this morning, oh Father. Lord, I pray you help us as your children, Father, to always be under that precious blood. That blood without, without blood, that blood, that sinless blood, oh my God. I pray that you help your children to always be under the blood for our call for everything, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Once more, Father, as we leave this place, we go under the blood of Jesus. I cover every one of us here, Father, with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for honoring your word, my brother. Let your name be glorified, Lord. Let your name be magnified, Lord. To your name be the glory, Father. Lord, as your children celebrate Easter all over the world, Father, let them be under the blood. 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 Wherever they are, Father, even in China, where, where this coronavirus started, let their children be under the blood. Let your children in America, everywhere, Lord, your own children, let them be under the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for answering us. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.